I want to take a look at, the, at a particular transformation called the reciprocal transformation. Given the graph of a function y equals f of x, what does the graph of y equals 1 over f of x look like? To figure that out, I want to start with a simple example. Let's use the graph of y equals 1 minus a half x to graph y equals 1 over 1 minus a half x. First thing I want to do is graph y equals 1 minus a half x. And that's pretty easy. Right? This is going to be a line with y-intercept 1 and slope negative 1 half. So it's going to go down 1 over 2. And right away, when you have two points for a line, you can graph the line immediately. So let's graph it. So that's our line. <clears throat> now, how do we get points for this graph, 1 over that? Well, you can just take reciprocals, right? For example, this point has a y-coordinate of 1. The reciprocal of 1 is 1, so the reciprocal graph will pass through this point. This point has a y-coordinate of a half. The reciprocal of that is 2, so it's gonna, the, the reciprocal graph will pass through this point. Uh, let's pick a nice integer. Here, we're going to have a y-coordinate of 2, so the reciprocal will have a y-coordinate of a half. Here we have a y-coordinate of 3, the reciprocal is one-third. And you can kind of see what's going to happen. As the graph goes up to infinity, the reciprocal goes down to zero. And we get this kind of, of shape. Now what happens past here? Notice that the y values of my, my line are getting close to zero. Well, <clears throat> let's take a table of values. I've got x, 1 minus 0.5x and 1 over 1 minus 0.5x. Let's let x get closer and closer to 2 and see what happens as we get close to this point. So we've already uh, done x equals 1. Let's do 1.5. Now, half of 1.5 is 0.75, and 1 minus that is 0.25. The reciprocal of, one, of 0.25 is 4. OK, so it's going up. We, if we wanted to, we could plot that point. It would be up here. 1.9, half of that is 0.95. 1 minus 0.95 is 0.05. And the reciprocal of that is 20. You might be able to tell already that as these numbers get closer to 2, these numbers are going to get closer to 0. And these numbers are going up to infinity. So that's what our graph is going to do. As we get close to 2, this graph is going to move up to infinity. All right, and that means that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. So let me draw that in. It's a vertical line, a vertical line that the graph is going to get closer and closer to as it moves up. Now, what happens on this side? Again, we can just plot, plot some points. Like on the line at this x value, which looks like 4, we're going to have negative 1. The reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1, so my reciprocal graph will actually go through that point. Here, the y value is negative 1 half. The reciprocal of that's negative 2, so we'll go through this point. And well, let's say here at 3, we have 3 halves. The reciprocal of that is 2 thirds. And you can see that we're going to get a similar graph a similar kind of graph down here is up here. Now, is this going to happen? As x approaches 2 from the right, are we going down to negative infinity? Let's check really quickly with some values. 2.5. Half of that is 1.25. 1 minus 1.25 is negative 0.25. And the reciprocal of that is negative 4. So this is 1 over 1 minus 0.5x. What about 2.1? Half of that is 1.05. 1 minus that is minus 0.05. And the reciprocal of that is negative 20. So yeah, you could see that as this goes to 2, we're approaching 2 from the right. This is approaching 0. And this is going to negative infinity. And that, that verifies that the graph should actually just go down, straight down to negative infinity. So we've got a vertical asymptote 
x equals 2. And you might also recognize that the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote, right? The graph is getting closer and closer to it as x goes to infinity or as x goes to negative infinity. So this purple graph is a graph of my reciprocal function. y equals 1 over 1 minus 0.5x. And the red graph is a graph of my original line, y equals 1 minus 0.5x.